What are you doing? Meal prepping. <laughs> My own husband's meal prepping and I don't even meal prep. What do you got? What's that? It's uh, some type of steak. Flank Forget. steak. That one, yes. You got chicken? Chicken, sweet potatoes, and rice. You got chicken here. Got a crap ton of rice in there. And that's every boiling sweet potatoes over there? Yes. Oh, look at you and your meal prepping. Thank you. Good morning, YouTube. It's like 7 in the morning, by the way. But um, do you guys remember briefly a few weeks ago me trying to meal prep and having like a major meltdown? Trying to meal prep, and here's my husband, calm and collected, prepping four meals. It's cool. Yeah. I just I think I like to panic. I think it's fun for me to have a mental breakdown over the simplest of things. I'm not sure. What's up, YouTube people? It's now almost two o'clock in the afternoon. It's been a very productive day, which is great because it's a Monday. And you know how I feel about productive Mondays. So I've been up since six. It's just what I do now. I used to hate waking up early. And ever since I started working from home, I like, don't, I would never do it. I'd be like, why would I wake up early when I can just wake up at 10 because no one is my boss but me. But now that things have really, really taken off, probably in the last like month and a half, um, I'm just so busy with work. Sorry, I'm making, I am making a meal. And I will show you what it is in a second because it's awesome. So, what was I even talking about? Does anybody know what I was talking about? I don't remember what I was talking about. Anyway, what I'm making right now Actually, let me back up. Hi, my name's Lynette and my videos never make sense. My macros got changed this week by my coaches. I was on like 200 and... I was on basically like 10 to 12 grams of fat, 50 to 55 grams of carbs, and 30 grams of protein for all my meals, plus a 50 gram of carb intra workout once a day when I worked out. Um, plus like green veggies and stuff. So essentially I was on like 250 grams of carbs, I wanna say on average. Um, I think it added up to like 60 or 70 grams of fat. I don't know, it was a lot of food and it was awesome. And I was just getting used to eating that much and my coaches put me on carb cycling, which is one of my favorite ways to diet. I don't usually utilize it with my own clients very much just because it's not necessary and it's a little bit easier for, or it's a little bit harder for me to track someone's progress um, while they're carb cycling. And if you're carb cycling, it's like really imperative that you actually stick exactly to your macros. Like you can't just like go over by 50 grams of carbs or 30 grams of fat one day because it kind of like messes up your flow. But yes. So today's a low carb day for me. And low carb day, it's basically, they have me on six meals, which is like, oh my gosh, I'm always eating. Like every two hours I'm eating. But it's nice because then like I'm not really getting hungry and I definitely have found my body responds better to when to when? When I am eating frequently, as opposed to like twice a day. So, but in total, my low carb days, which are five days a week, um, I am on around 125 grams of carbs, around 80 grams of fat, I think. I didn't even calculate the protein, probably like 180 grams of protein, maybe. It's kind of high, but calories for those days are, I think around 1900 I calculated. And then for my high carb days, Y'all, I'm on 300 grams of carbs. I don't know if my coaches realize that that's what they put me at, because they just give me a meal breakdown, but I did the math, I added it all together. It's 300 grams of carbs. So, you could say things are getting pretty awesome around here. And really, I'm only doing that one day a week, because, so five days a week I'm doing low carb, and he, they want me like to do two low carb days before I do a high carb day, which is pretty standard. Um, and I do two low carb days and a high carb day, two more low carb days, and then my high carb day, which is usually gonna fall on a Friday or Saturday, is actually like my cheat meal day. So I follow a high carb plan, like the you know the first two or three meals of the day, and then my last few meals of the day are kind of taken over by my cheat meal, which 300 freaking grams of carbs, holy moly. I feel like my cheat meal is just gonna fit my macros anyway because I can't even eat that much anymore. But yeah, I'm excited. I like carb cycling. Um, Yesterday was my first like super low carb day and this morning I woke up feeling like super lean. Wait, my friend is here! And I'm in the middle of vlogging. Let me see. My friend Lindsay is coming over and we're gonna hang out and do stuff and I love her and I'm so excited for this person to be back. Oh, it's so bright. 
What am I saying? Oh, she can't even fit into here. I'm so excited. I'm like a kid on Christmas. Uh, Lindsay. Lindsay is my friend and she's been in lots of my vlogs and she works at Lululemon and I'm in love with her. Look how beautiful you are. <laughs> All right, YouTube. As I was saying, before my BFF Lindsay showed up, what was I saying? Oh, sorry, I'm carb cycling now. That's what I was. Are we wearing the same Lulus? Wait, no, they're different. Those are oh. all the right places. These are case queens. Oh, man. Man. So, okay. I don't, I don't, I have no idea what I was trying to say. You want to get in this little, little, sure. little liggity vlog yeah, with me? I'm really short. I can just like, <laughs> back away. It's okay. Oh, look how little you are. <laughs> I am a giant. We're going to get our nails did because these suckers oh, yours are, are all nice. jacked up. At least they have polish on them. They do have polish. Mine are like really <laughs> gross. I'm so glad the camera is so far away because... <laughs> My cuticles are bad. Uh, we are gonna get nails. Lindsay's getting her her pointy nails like me. What These claws. suckers, claws. So I can claw out every single person I don't like. Just kidding. <laughs> Mine are not even that pointy. I feel like I want to go a tiny bit pointier. I don't want to go like sharp, sharp, but like I want to go like. You want talons, talons a little bit. Baby talons. Want talons a little bit. Okay. I want to scratch people's eyes out too. We might go to Sephora. We have to. I haven't decided by. I mean, I haven't been to the twelve return. months one in a while. Wait, you're returning your device palette? Yeah, you know. I don't love it. Okay, I want to show you guys what I was eating really quick. I have the, like, since it's low carb day, so I'm trying to like help y'all out with like the low carb situation because I know that's a struggle. I have these flat out wraps. They're just like these big, they're actually pretty big wraps. <laughs> Am I helping anybody? I don't know. They're the best wraps ever. Like. Yeah, they're really good. And it's Italian herb flavored, which is you can get delicious. Like so all the good stuff. Mm hmm. So I have that, and on it I have like four ounces of chicken. I have 30 grams of avocado. You like my dirty looking avocado right there? I like it. And I have shredded lettuce. You guys remember from my prep days of just eating bags of this with some dressing on it? Those Got days you. of struggle. And then the Bolt House Classic, it only wants to focus on your face. Cause that's, that's my face, obviously. <laughs> the Bolt House Classic Ranch dressing. It's a Greek yogurt based dressing and it's super good and it's only 45 calories for a serving. Three fat, three carbs. One protein. So, this is the fittest pro- fit thing. Words? I think Words. I'm developing a mental problem. My goodness, I can't speak at all. Words are hard. <laughs> so here's what it looks like. It's just a little wrap with crap on it. And I actually mashed the avocado and like put it down there and sprinkled some salt on it. I wish I would have had like lime juice or something to make it kind of like guacamole. I guess I could have just bought guacamole. <laughs> but there you know, you know, you think about it afterwards. But there is that delicious meal and I'm gonna eat that so Lindsay and I can get on the road and get our nails did and get some makeup and I'm gonna show her where the cat is because I heard her looking for her so bye. Lindsay and I are both sick. <laughs> Aren't we so lucky? So let's look at all the fun stuff she's getting right now. All the cat nails shoes. Now. Oh yeah, can we talk about our cute nails that we got together? Our, our little claws. Yay! Okay. okay. Cat shoes and like Dayquil, the cheap kind. And, and then peppermint Oreos. Ooh, living the fit girl dream. And I got other fit people things. These noodles that I love, zero calorie pancake syrup, and stuff. Feeling these nails though. Oh, the claws. Okay, so we're back home. Can't in. Go to the person you like. Oh, oh yes, you love me. Okay, the first time that Lindsay came over, Mia was like super into her. And I was like, what the heck? Like, Mia does not like women. She does not like me. Like, why would she like Lindsay? Lindsay's not even like a cat person. And so I thought maybe it was a fluke. Like, maybe like we just had like a good day. She loves me more. But no, this is the second time Lindsay has met the kitten. And the kitten, she's not doing it now, but she was like all about Lindsay. Like, she was just sitting next to Lindsay, staring at her with like hearts in her eyes. She was. The emoji. Emoji. She won't even give me the time of day. Kitten! Mia! Did you see I called her and she didn't respond, Actually, but you called her and she looked at you? Thank you. Like, Mom 2.0. Kitten! She's like, bye! Doesn't even want anything to do with me. Bye, Mom. Kitten! Can I give you rums? Aw, oh, cute baby. She's like, she's, she's like, Mom, I only like loves on my terms. She is 
the baby. <laughs> What's up, guys? I'm a little bit undecided about how I really feel about these nails. I feel I just don't like the shape of my hand, so like I'm not really sure how I feel about nails, the shape. Maybe they're not like pointy enough. I'm not really sure, but I love like neutral nude nails. Nude and like black. Those are like kind of like my two favorite go-tos. But anyway, we got our nails done. We went grocery shopping. We went to Sephora. We were literally in Sephora for like two hours. And so that's maybe not two hours, maybe like an hour and a half. But we were there for a long freaking time. And I got a lot of stuff for like really, really cheap. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got. I think I spent 125, I think my total was 125, but I had a $25 gift card. So I only ended up spending 100. So let's just hop right into this. I look kind of like a hot mess express right now, but it's fine. So the first thing I got was, and I think it's Anastasia. Can we, Anastasia. Anastasia, I don't know, the brow pencil that everybody and their mother uses. It's called the Perfect Brow Pencil. I got it in the shade Medium Brown. It's basically just a brow pencil. My eyebrow situation has not been a fun one lately. I use a gel and sometimes a powder, and I feel like I take forever doing my brows just because like the powder doesn't work perfectly and neither does the gel, but like together they kind of work well. But, and this is totally not the pencil that I thought it was. I thought that it was like that retractable one that you guys have seen. I wonder how this is gonna work. I don't know how I feel about this. I'm a little bit disappointed, but we'll see. Maybe I'll take that back. Cause it was like $20, $23. And the normal one, the other one, the retractable one is $21. Yeah, I'm probably gonna take this back and get the one that I wanted. But if you guys use the Anastasia brow pencil, like the retractable one, um, let me know if you like it because I don't know what to do for my brows. Like the gel isn't really what I want. It looks like too shiny. The powder is like, it's just hard to control because it's a powder. So I feel like it just looks really like airbrushy in a bad way. And the pencils, I feel like pencils never last. I don't know, someone help me. So the second thing that I got, which is kind of what I went in there for, is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Invisible Cover Foundation. I got it in the shade 120 or Y245. Looks like this. Um, I have been using drugstore foundation forever. I don't think I've ever had a high-end foundation in my life. And now that I'm like taking better care of my skin, I'm starting to see that it would really like behoove me to have a nice foundation, especially since I spend money on so much of my other makeup products. Like foundation is definitely one that's worth spending the money on because it like is your whole face. Um, and I thought that taking better care of my skin would solve a lot of my skin issues, but it seems like some of my skin issues are still there and the drugstore makeup that I'm using is not really helping them. So I got that. I got, I feel like I've heard a lot of good things about it, so so let's hope that that works out for me. I also got a mini version of the the Pore Professional. It's a face primer. I've used this before many times, and I think I've even had like a full size version of this. Um, I just wanted the mini version because I I normally use like a NYX uh, or NYX Shine Free Primer, and again I think that that's actually just drying out my skin. I think that I always thought my skin was oily, but I'm starting to find I think my face is actually like more combination slash dry and I think the shine free stuff kind of like sucks all the moisture out of my skin and makes it look really like flat. So I couldn't remember if I really liked this stuff or if I just kind of liked it so I bought a small version of it to try it out again and see like if it's worth buying the full bottle. And this little like mini version is only $10 so. I also got, and this I'm really excited about, it was $24 and it's a Too Faced blush and bronzer set but there's two blushes and two bronzers in here. And they're mini size, and it comes with this cute little baby kabuki brush. I like it, it's really soft. So it comes with two bronzers, which is another thing. I don't have any high end bronzers, so I've been trying to look for some lately. And this one is called Sun Bunny, and the inside looks like that like that. A little bit of shimmer tone but not sparkle. Um, with bronzers, I like matte bronzers um, without any shimmer but they're less forgiving. I feel like it's a lot easier for your face to look really muddy if you're not applying your bronzer 
perfectly. A shimmer just seems to be a little bit more forgiving. So that was the Sun Bunny one. And then I got, it's called Chocolate Soleil something. And that's it right there. And here's the two other bronzers. So you see the shimmer versus not shimmer. So I'm excited to use these. Um, I think all of these can be purchased at a full size, but I got these two plus two blushes that I'm about to show you for $24. Like, are you joking me? Now I don't have any high-end blushes either. I think the only high-end stuff I have is literally just eye makeup. I think I have like a few high-end lip products and a few high-end, I have one high-end, I have a NARS blush palette, but everything else I get is just drugstore. Um, but I, ugh, I've been wanting to get more high-end stuff, so these, oh my gosh, darling. These tiny little blush palettes, adorable as can be. Inside looks like that. This one is called Justify My Love, and this one is called Love Hangover. This one's a little bit more of like a coral color, kind of like a warm, rosy coral kind of and this one's definitely more like a um a bright pink almost like a blue undertoned bright pink so those are really pigmented which is nice for a blush so last but not least i got my second nars product ever this seemed like such a good deal it's a uh, how am i showing you the box it's a nars radiant creamy concealer and this was 12 dollars now this isn't like the hugest package in the world, but it definitely is like more than a deluxe sample size. And NARS is an expensive brand, so it's a little, has like a little wand. It's kind of like a thicker concealer, which I'm still trying to figure out what kind of concealers I like. I like thin concealers because I feel like they're like easier to work with and they don't get as cakey, but I feel like they also sometimes just don't even give you the coverage that you want. Whereas like thicker concealers give her the coverage that you want, but also I feel like can look cakey more. So I'm hoping that by getting a high-end concealer for the first time ever, I'm able to like find a concealer that works and does not just like cause me problems. So that's everything I got. It's good, it's stuff I've been trying, I've been trying to like indulge in some high-end makeup a little bit more. So I'm really excited about my cat doing this right now. What are you doing? Can you stop playing with my expensive lights? Are you, are you literally biting my lights? Seriously? Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs>